What's up guys? Just fresh out of the shower. I just wrapped up my morning cardio. I'm going to be filming a full day of eating today for you guys. So like I said, I just got done with my morning cardio. I am currently four weeks out from my next show. It is the Patriots Pro in Las Vegas and then I'm heading straight to Vancouver for the Vancouver Pro. So all of my Canadian subscribers and viewers, hello. This will be my first time to Canada and I'm so, so, so excited. I'm actually going to be getting into town a few days before the show and then I plan on staying in Vancouver until probably Tuesday after the show so that I can do some exploring. So if any of you guys are from the area, please leave me suggestions on things that I need to see, things that I need to do. And then straight from Vancouver, I'm going to be heading to Calgary to spend the week with Randy and we have our Calgary Her Fit Camp coming up um, that following Sunday. So if you're in the Calgary area and you have not yet signed up for our Her Fit Camps, you can send us an email at herfitcamp at gmail.com and we'd be happy to sign you up, give you some information, and so definitely Definitely check that out. I cannot wait to hopefully meet and see many of you guys while I'm out there. I don't ever really stress too much about prep. I have so many other things going on in life that prep is very important to me, but it's something that I just do. My passion and my purpose is to help as many of you guys as I can along the way, and prep is just one of those things that I just do in the background of my life. And yeah, I do it well, and I put my whole entire heart into it, but I don't let it absolutely consume my every thought and my, uh, and my whole entire being. I think that kind of balance is really important when you're carrying out a prep, because I think so many people can just get so emotionally and mentally wrapped up into it, and it can really take a toll on you. So just remember guys, keep your goals at the forefront of your mind, but enjoy life and live it to the fullest no matter what. And make sure you're doing what you love. At the end of the day, even though prep gets hard, I love it. It's something that I enjoy and that I love to do. And it's not to say that it isn't hard, but at the end of the day, I still love to do it. And I've always said to myself, the second that I don't feel like I love it anymore or that I don't enjoy it anymore would be the time that I reevaluate my priorities. And right now, I still absolutely love to do it and I'm still able to carry on my main other life tasks as well and so that's really important to me I'm gonna show you guys what I've been taking before my morning cardio as I mentioned in my last video I've incorporated some new supplements into my routine and they've honestly you guys have been a game changer for me not only in how I'm feeling myself perform but I'm seeing my body transform so much differently this prep as well and it's kind of mind-blowing. Uh, so what I take in the morning before my fasted cardio is the BPI's BCA Shredded. There's no caffeine in this product. Um, there's a very hefty dose of L-carnitine. And what L-carnitine does is it helps to break down stored fats in the body and convert them into energy. And it has your essential amino acids in it too. So if you're somebody who gets up and does morning cardio, it's good to get in a dose of amino acids to help with muscle recovery and prevent muscle breakdown. Like I said, this has a hefty dose of L-carnitine in it, so you're going to convert those fats into energy, and you're going to be able to use that energy to get through your cardio session. This is caffeine-free, so I also stack this with a fat burner. I'm right now taking BPI's Niagenics. I only take one capsule, and I find that that's plenty for me. It gives me the energy that I need, and it's highly effective still as well. This also has anti-aging ingredients in it too, so it's like a double bonus because who doesn't want to prevent aging? <laughs> <laughs> and the last pre-cardio supplement that I take is my Garcinia and Carnitine. And this is another non-stimulant fat loss support. You want to take this before your largest meals. And since my first meal of the day is typically one of my larger meals, I make sure I get this in before my first meal. You want to give it about 30 or 45 minutes to digest in your system before eating. So that's why I take it before my morning cardio. My BCA Shredded, my Garcinia and my Carnitine, and my Niagenix fat burner. So that is my pre-cardio stack. And I promise you guys that supplement 101 video is going to be coming very soon. As I mentioned in the beginning of this clip, I'm going to be filming a full day of eating for you guys today. This is a low carb day for me. So I'm going to show you how I get through a low carb day. It is my third low carb day in a row. Tomorrow will be a high carb slash refeed day for me. I am currently carb cycling. And keep in mind when I show you guys what I'm doing as far as what I'm eating, the supplements that I'm taking and things like that, I'm simply showing you what works for me. I'm not by any means suggesting that that's what you should do. 
you. We're telling you that you need to do these certain things. Of course, I want you guys to get ideas from me. That's why I share these things and I want you to stir up questions that you might have and be critical and be analytical about your own process and what you're doing and ask me questions if you need to. But keep in mind that everybody's body is different and is going to respond differently. So just because I'm doing a certain thing doesn't mean that that exact protocol is going to work the exact same for you. So I just always want you guys to keep that in mind. With that being said, let's get into the video. All right guys, so this is basically what my first meal is going to consist of. It's going to be cream of rice, egg whites, and this is something I have not shared with you guys yet. So while my cream of rice is heating up, I will share with you guys, I have teamed up with Epic Spreads to come up with my very own exclusive signature peanut butter flavor. And I'm so excited, it's finally here. The flavor is cotton candy. We tossed around a ton of ideas and I wanted to come up with something that comprised who I am, who my taste buds are, and the things that I love the most, and cotton candy was kind of a no-brainer for me. Not available yet, but I obviously have been able to taste test, and it is so bomb, you guys. I cannot wait for y'all to get your hands on this. I am actually going to be going into the warehouse to sign the first 50 jars, and my signature is printed on all the labels on the back here, so it's something that I'm really grateful for and really excited to have the opportunity to team up with Epic Spreads and come up with my very own signature peanut butter flavor because who doesn't love nut butters? Comment below if you're a cotton candy fan and if you are excited to try this. And yes, this is going in my breakfast. On a low carb day, volume is very important. As you can see, when I cook the cream of rice with just water by itself, it's not incredibly voluminous. So what I'm going to do, and you may have seen this in past videos because I eat this meal a lot, I'm going to cook my egg whites in to my cream of rice with a little bit more water and stirring a ton back into the microwave. You are going to see the cream of rice fluff up a ton and add way more volume to this meal. As you can see now guys, there is a ton more volume in this bowl. All I did was cook my egg whites into the cream of rice. I added some extra water. You wanna stir a ton, put it back in the microwave, make sure that you're stirring every like 40 seconds or so, and put it back into the microwave for about a minute and a half. And you should get a consistency that looks almost like mashed potatoes, but it's honestly so, so good, and it's super filling. That volume just helps so much, especially on a low-carb day. Post-workout meal here is four ounces of white fish, some fresh asparagus, some pre-cooked jasmine rice, and the fish I get prepped by Bite Meals. I get all of my proteins prepped in bulk, so this 16 ounces of fish here, I also do the chicken. It allows you to throw meals together based on your macros, based on whatever you're craving for that particular moment. That's what I'm going to be having as my post-workout meal. I've got a solid source of protein, a solid carbohydrate source, and I like to keep my fats low post-workout to ensure that my absorption rate of my proteins and my carbs are as fast as possible. Fats tend to slow down the digestion rate, so I want to make sure I'm getting my protein and my carbs straight to my muscles as quickly as possible, and I will save some fats for my other meals so here you have it all right guys I'm cooking up my next meal I am cooking up some Jenny O extra lean ground turkey and I'm going to season it with just some everything spice and also some chipotle flavor god I've been finding this flavor combo to be super good on my proteins. Although I do get many of my proteins prepped by bite meals, 
I still thoroughly enjoy cooking and throwing meals together myself, so that is why I am chefing up some ground turkey right now. I was in the mood for it. I am going to be looking forward to this meal. And then once that is cooked up, I am going to be putting it all on this pretty salad here. As I mentioned, it's a low carb day for me, so volume is key. Once this is all cooked up, I'll show you guys the finished product and tell you what I have put all together. All right guys, so I have added my ground turkey to my salad. In the salad was just some romaine lettuce, some spinach, some bell peppers, red, green, and yellow, some celery, and some cucumbers. And then one thing that I love to do that you guys may remember seeing in previous videos is I grab some rice cakes and then I crumble them up on top of my salad so they're kind of like low carb croutons. I haven't had too many fats yet today. I had some with my breakfast, which was my pre-workout post-fasted cardio meal. And then I like to save a lot of my fats for my evening meals. That's just when I crave my fats. And so I listen to my body and I eat what I'm craving at the time that I'm craving it. And this is what I'm craving right now. With this meal, I'm going to be doing one Garcinia plus carnitine. The garcinia helps to break down the carbohydrates in your body and then the carnitine helps to break down stored fats in the body. Again, it's non-stimulant so there's no caffeine in this. It just helps support your metabolism. I take this twice a day. Next meal here, I have another serving of my ground turkey that I cooked for the last meal, some asparagus that I steamed, and then a serving of almonds. I'm going to be seasoning this meal with some ground turmeric. I've explained the benefits of turmeric in many, many videos. I absolutely just love the taste that it adds to my food. Also incredibly beneficial for digestion and reducing inflammation. Then I'll also be throwing on some of this Italian zest seasoning as well. Looks so good. I'm going to eat this meal. I'm working on some client programs. I'm working actually on restructuring an entirely new coaching system that I'm so excited to be launching. It's going to be my most comprehensive and my most intensive coaching program that I've ever, ever done. And I'm really, really excited to be launching this. It'll obviously be focused on diet and training, but I'm also going to build in some lifestyle coaching as well. And I'm only going to be accepting like a very select number of clients because I want to be able to offer very high quality, really good communication. And I want those who get accepted into the program to absolutely be able to change their lives from it. I'm so excited to be working on that and I'll keep you guys posted on the details and when it's good to when you can apply if you're interested but I am starving and I am ready to eat this meal and I always listen to my body and I feed it what it's craving at the times that it's craving those things and so I think that's really important to become in tune with your body and its needs and when it has specific cravings I find that that helps me stay on track I know personally for me I crave fats later in the day and so I don't utilize many fats or disperse them as much earlier in the day because I'm not necessarily craving them. I'll save them for later in the day. I'll preserve them for later in the day at the times that I am really craving them. And so that way I feel satisfied. And feeling satisfied and feeling satiated is the key to making this lifestyle long term and making it enjoyable. So it's really important that you listen to your body and you become in tune with those signals. That is enough talking for me right now. I'm going to scarf down this meal, get back to work, and I will catch you guys in the next clip. All right, if you guys try any of these meals from today's video, make this the one that you try. This is probably my favorite meal of the day. That's why I save it for my final meal of the night. It is just egg whites that I scramble with cinnamon in the pan and then also a packet of stevia in the pan as well. So that's the key. And then you stir them up together and it makes your egg whites nice and sweet and delicious. And then I top them with sliced almonds and copious amounts of almond butter. So I will show you the finished product when it's done. Here it is, guys. There is egg whites down at the bottom of this bowl. I promise you it's steaming up. And the sliced almonds and then my huge mound of mixture of almond butter and peanut butter. This is a perfect bedtime meal. High protein, high fat. Going to keep metabolizing throughout the night, which is great. And I'm going to sleep with happy taste buds and a happy tummy.
because we all know that any peanut butter left on the spoon doesn't count. Mm. It doesn't count. <laughs> All right guys, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this full day of eating and maybe got some different recipe and meal ideas from it. I always want you to keep in mind that any kind of full days of eating that you see on my channel, on anybody's channel for that matter, are simply just to show you meal ideas, recipe ideas, and I want you to keep in mind that my macros and what I'm following or what anybody else's macros are are probably not the exact macros that you should be following for you. All of our bodies are very different, require very different things, and are individually based, not only on our bodies, but on what our goals are as well. And I am four and five weeks out from an IFBB Pro Bikini competition, so my macros right now aren't what they would be in, per se, an off season. And I just wanted to share that because I want you guys to keep in mind when you're watching these videos to take them for what they are as recipe ideas, meal ideas, and then you can adjust the meals and the recipes based on your macros and how they fit for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to do more full days of eating where I share different recipes and different meals, give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you all so very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.